the last 50 lines or so from James Joyce's Molly Bloom's Soliloquy. I love flowers. I'd love to have the whole place swimming in roses. God of heaven, there's nothing like nature. The wild mountains, then the sea and the waves rushing. Then the beautiful country with fields of oats and wheat and all kind of things. And all the fine cattle going about that would do your heart good to see rivers and lakes and flowers. All sorts of shapes and smells and colours springing up, even out of the ditches primroses and violets nature it is as for them saying there's no god i wouldn't give a snap of my two fingers for all their learning why don't they go and create something i often asked him atheists or whatever they call themselves go and wash the cobbles off themselves first then they go howling for the priest and they dying and why why because they're afraid of hell on account of their bad conscience ah oh, yes i know them well who was the first person in the universe before there was anybody that made it all? Hmm? Ah? That they don't know. Neither do I. So there you are. They might as well try to stop the sun from rising tomorrow. The sun shines for you, he said, the day we were lying among the rhododendrons on Howth Head in the grey tweed suit and his straw hat. The day I got him to propose to me, yes. First, I gave him the bit of seed cake out of my mouth, and it was a leap year like now. Yes. Sixteen years ago. My God. After that long kiss, I nearly lost my breath. Yes. He said, was a flower of the mountain. Yes. So we are flowers all. A woman's body. Yes. That was one true thing he said in his life. And the sun shines for you today. Yes. That was why I liked him, because I saw he understood or felt what a woman is. And I knew I could always get round him and I gave him all the pleasure I could, leading him on till he asked me to say yes. And I wouldn't answer first, only looked out over the sea and the sky. I was thinking of so many things he didn't know of Mulvey and Mr. Stanhope and Hester and Father and old Captain Groves, and the sailors playing all birds fly, and I say stoop and washing up dishes, they called it on the pier, and the sentry in front of the governor's house with the thing round his white helmet, poor devil, half-roasted, and the Spanish girls laughing in their shawls and their tall combs, and the auctions in the morning, the Greeks and the Jews and the Arabs and the devil knows who else from all ends of Europe, and Duke Street and the fowl market all clucking outside Larby Charans, and the poor donkeys slipping half asleep, and the vague fellows in the cloaks asleep in the shade on the steps and the big wheels of the carts of the bulls, and the old castle, thousands of years old, yes, and those handsome moors, all in white and turbans, like kings asking you to sit down in their little bit of a shop, and Rhonda, with the old windows of the posadas, glancing eyes, a lattice hid for her lover to kiss the iron, and the wine shops half open at night, and the castanets, and the night we miss the boat at Algeciras, the watchman going about serene with his lamp, and oh, that awful deep-down torrent, oh, and the sea, the sea crimson, sometimes like fire, and the glorious sunsets, and the fig trees, and the Alameda gardens, yes, and all the queer little streets, and pink and blue and yellow houses, and the rose gardens, and the yesamine, and geraniums, and cactuses, and Gibraltar. There's a girl where I was, a flower of the mountain, yes when I put the rose in my hair like the Andalusian girls used, or shall I wear a red? Yes. And how he kissed me under the Moorish wall, and I thought, well, as well as him as another. And then I asked him with my eyes to ask again, yes. And then he asked me, would I say yes to say yes for my mountain flower? And first I put my arms around him, yes, and drew him down Joe me, so he could feel my breasts, all perfume, yes, and his heart was going like mad. And yes, I said, yes, I will, yes.